everyone welcome back to chilling with chili Sid. and today i'm going to be doing a couple of sauces one of them i've had for a very long time sorry steve i've had it for a very long time and i've got around to doing it so it's um block 34 rays um sauce by Stephen gibbs the don't fear the reaper because i keep saying don't fear the reaper don't fear the reaper i thought i better do this sauce yeah so don't fear the reaper sauce and he's also um collaborated and worked together with um, Extreme Heat Challenge to produce the Game Over sauce. Now, uh, these labels have changed. So they were from here to here now. And this, this, this is the new, I, I don't know if it's the new label style. You'll have to let us know, Steve. Um, so this is the Game Over sauce and this is um, presented or I think, I don't know if he's collaborated with them, which is on the bottle, it just says presented by um, Extreme Heat Challenge. So I've got 34A and Extreme Heat Challenge, game over. It's, it's quite like a PlayStation one. And I think with the lockdown going on, um, a lot of our kids, men, people, have been stuck on Xboxes and Playstations and things, haven't they? So I think, you know, it could be one where you have in your wings or whatever, your dips or whatever, and you just sit in there playing your games. So, I'm um, going to see which is the hotter of the two and then do the, that one last. I think this one, game over. Now, this one sounds really nice. It's Extreme Heat Challenge presents hot and spicy apple pie. Now, who doesn't like apple pie? And who doesn't like hot and spicy apple pie? Now, it's a 2 out of 32. So, this is a second bottle out of a batch of 32. And the heat rating is 2 out of 10. So, it's a I think this one might be hotter because it's a reaper sauce. So I'm going to be doing this one first. Sorry about that. So it's game over um, with um, um, Steve Gibbs and Stream Heat Challenge. Now you have got the ingredients, Casabel chili. Now I've never had the Casabel chili. Casabel chili? I've never had them. So that should be something different. But I have had Bramley apples. Yeah, because Bramley's just down the road and I've had Bramley apples. You've got toffee. Uh, toffee, sugar and water, scotch bonnets, pineapple. So you've got apples and pineapple, scotch bonnets and cassabelle chilies in this one. Um, cider vinegar, vanilla, cinnamon and sea salt. So you've got your apples, your vanilla, your cinnamon, your apple pie mix going on. The colour of it is like a very nice rich brown sauce and it almost looks Christmassy or quite fruity, like datey, but it hasn't got dates in it. The consistency, check this out, now it's quite, I'm just having a look, I can't see any bits in it, but check out the consistency of that, right? So what's the label for? It's quite, quite smooth, a nice pourable one. And do you know what? I'm going to just take this off. I'm not very good at these things. I always have problems with them. So we can have a quick look at the pour on the neck. Okay. Now, you know what? Anytime you put apples in apple in sauces, you have that lovely, lovely consistency, lovely sort of apple -y depth. I don't know what, what the name, technical name for that is or, or the culinary name for that is, but apple always leaves that sort of, you know, it coats the bottle. Um, it's around this inner talking. It's, it's going to be nice because apples and cinnamon and a bit of heat, <laughs> it's just going to be nice. Now, actually, I'm just going to give it a quick shake because it's a little, not very big. See, it's gloopy. Nice, nice, nice. So, let's get it down there. Okay, let's go for the aroma now. I'm expecting apples and eat. It's like a sticky toffee apple. It smells like a sticky toffee apple. So, yes, it had toffee in it, didn't it? Toffee was one of the ingredients. Now, I can smell the sticky toffiness, the apples in there, that sort of, um, oh, that sort of flavour, but I can't smell the heat. Now, that can, doesn't mean anything. If you can't detect it and you can't, it's not overpowering or anything, it doesn't mean it's not in there. So, you could be in there. And also, it's a flavoursome 2 out of 10 sauce. Again, we're just going to do this again. Mmm, mmm, the toffee almost smells or tastes like the, the, you know, cane sugar. Right, here we go. Let's just pour this. Now, this, the, the pour on this one is quite smooth. There we go. It's quite thin. If you look at it. I need to have a lot of it. So bring it in. And the colour is beautiful. Really nice, rich. It's, it's almost, it hasn't got dates and plums in it, but it almost looks dainty and plummy. I don't know if you can see it from there. That's such a nice colour. That is nice. I don't want to tilt the spoon side because I'll dribble it. 
Mm. Exactly what I said earlier. A toffee apple. So toffeeish, appleish. You know what? Steve and Aaron, guys, I'm just going to get this down my neck. Thank you very much because the more I talk about it, the more the mouth's watering. So cheers, Liz. Mmm. It's nice. It's like a real warm apple pie. It's actually, it's just like having a spoonful of apple pie. Um, oh, a spoonful of apple pie with a hint of toffee. It's exactly what it says on the bottle. And it's really nice. And the consistency is so, so nice. Um, this one, obviously, because of the apple nature and the sweet nature, cinnamon, apple, I think, <laughs> first use, apple crumbles, apple pie, anything pie-ish. You know, you can drizzle it over your custard. It's nice. It's it's almost so rich that it feels like a Christmas flavour. It's not far away to Christmas, but it almost feels like a Christmas flavour because um, the cinnamon, oh, the apples, they, they all add to that Christmassy flavour. So it's really nice. Just gonna have, have another spoonful of it. It's a really nice sauce, actually. Very nice. Well done, guys. There we go. Mm. no heat to it though i can taste um i can detect i can detect a floralness the heat i said no heat it's just like um there is something there but it's not hot enough yeah but then again the sauce wasn't meant to be blow your head off hot enough it's a two out of ten it's more flavor flavorsome sauce and it's actually a fruity apple pie sauce and it just tastes like apple pie in a, in a bottle that's all I can say. So, guys, out there, if you want to order the Steve Gibbs Game Over in collaboration with Extreme Heat Challenge, it's got really nice artwork on the front as well. If you want to order this one, Game Over, you know what to do. So, I'm just going to go slightly sideways to Don't Fear the Reaper. Now, Steve dropped this off a while ago, a bit longer than that one, and... Um, I'm just getting around to doing it now. Stuff's happened, so I just haven't got around to it. And the cupboards are full, so it's got buried behind everything. I think I might just change the spoon to a different one. Now, this one just says Pop 34A's. It's email address. Now, the old logo that Steve had was just Pop 34A because it's his allotment number. Because I've done Steve's sources before. That's his allotment number there. And don't fear the reaper. So th this was how Steve's uh, original sources used to be. So um, and you wouldn't have the as many the ingredients went on the bottles. You had to go to the website to get them. But the progression has gone quite a lot because on his new late on his new bottles he has put all of the ingredients on there. So you know um, he's come away change in bottles quite a lot. Okay. So now this one is like. Um, an orange it, you know what this one reminds me like a scotch bonnet sauce i can't believe that it's a reaper sauce but it's, it just looks like orangey scotch bonnets it's quite a runny sauce i think it's a fermented sauce you can see it's quite runny there we go it's Wait. got it's quite runny it's quite thin and it has it's very gloopy you can hear that glue going on and there's quite a few bits of no seeds no really gritty bits just like pulp okay Oh, it's a bit tiny bit of a plug. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give it another shake. I think this one's going to be a hot, hot, hot one. Because that one's got a heat rating of 2 out of 10. This one's got no heat rating. Um, I'm assuming Reapers. I'm assuming vinegar, Reapers fermented sauce and, and seasoning. That's what I'm assuming that this one has. So there's nothing for it, you know. We just need to crack on with this. So that's always it's a very nice pour. I'm not, I don't want to shake it up too much because I didn't want a massive bit. But I'm not going to fill my spoon up completely because if I like it or it's not hot enough, I have some more. But, okay, savoury, um, vinegar, maybe onions in it. Yeah, that's it. And I can't smell the heat. So let's get this down, Steve. Thank you for this one and down my neck. Here we go. Okay, got garlic in it, got onions in it. It's really nice. Um, it's more garlicky onion-y. There's seasoning, 
it's not too sharp it's not too vinegary and the heat maybe it's because it's been sat in my cupboard for a while but the heat has come right down there's hardly any heat to that one it's a, it's a nice flavor some sauce completely different to what i thought it was i thought it was going to be don't fear the reaper it's going to have reapers i thought it's going to be a fermented sauce it was going to have just vinegar reapers bit of salt yeah off we went no it's got a lot more to it it's, you can taste the onions, you can taste the garlic. It seems that you may have pineapple in there. So it's the consistency and the flavours. It's really nice. It's, the heat isn't as hot. It's not blow your head off heat. It's a nice warming heat, which is, you know, I suppose about 3 out of 10. So it's a little bit hotter than that one. That one's more on the sweet side. It's a little bit hotter than that one. It's actually a really nice, well-balanced sauce. It's not too tangy, too sharp, nothing, nothing. It's a really, really nice sauce. Now, um, Steve, get all the ingredients and stuff written down on the, on the labels. This is the lovely sauce. But I'm glad that you've progressed onto here and, and actually written them all, all the ingredients down. You know, use-wise, because I think, because of the fruity pineapple nature in it and that, it, and the, I think the pH is low because there is a tang to it. Um, vinegar or lemon is more, more like vinegar. You can use this as a marinade. It's quite a nice consistency. You can marinate your meat in this one for barbecue and etc. I think dipping-wise, it's a bit too runny in consistency. So you can add it to mayonnaise or something and add it to another dip, mix it up. And then, then you've got a nice, you know, because when you dip, you don't want a runny dip, do you? You want a, a dip where you can actually get hold of something. So for dip, because it's runny, that's why I say, and, and I'd probably put it in cooking. You can put it in stir fries because you've got your fruity, slight heat. And I'll tell you what, it's a nice heat. So if you don't eat chilies, these two sauces, if you're not a chilli head and you want to go into chilli well, but you're not sort of up on heat, because not everybody is, then these are nice ones to start off with. You've got a nice low-level heat, flavoursome and versatile. You can use it in anything. And this one, a, a dessert sauce, because obviously I would call it a dessert sauce, apple pie tasting sauce with cinnamon um flavors to it vanilla and cinnamon flavors to like a christmasy sauce you know you can you can put, there are so many uses for this one because you can put it in your ice creams your waffles your christmas pud whatever 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 you can just drizzle it on everything and it will give you the the apple pie the christmasy feel all year round yeah and you know what it, it's an apple pie you can probably just dip wedges in it, it doesn't matter. So you can do savoury and sweet with those two. So guys, if you want to order any of the Plot 34A sauces, either one of these two or any others, because Steve has got a whole whole range of sauces that he's done, you know what to do by now guys, yeah, you know what to do. Order, 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 like, lots of comments. If I can't answer them, I'll get the boys to do it. So thank you very much for watching.